Hello, beautiful friends and beautiful people, beautiful souls. It is Catherine Massell, Conscious Creatrix, Elevated Consciousness Coach, 5D Visionary, Creator of the Signature, One of a Kind Program, Timelines Expanded Masterclass, starting up again live on April 16th of this year, 2020. Uh, going a little bit later uh, today than I thought I was going to. <laughs> My Sunday kind of got away from me. But I wanted to bring in this information for you guys now because it's pretty important to know this stuff. And it's pretty important to know that we are navigating through a lot of programs of fear right now. And that shouldn't stop us from gleaning more information and going into different realms, different dimensional realities, different space time to glean information, to collect wisdom, insight, to commune with your spirit guides on their turf, if you will. Um, this is an excellent time to actually do this kind of work, but there is a lot of fear at play at the same time. And also your energy, you as a creative divine human are very tasty. <laughs> and you are very desirable to other beings, entities who are of lesser integrity and would use your personal matrix, your grid of your divine energetic signature of energy to kind of uh, be a power source for the creativity that they lack. There are, yes, evolved civilizations out there who are operating at much lesser integrity than we would like them to be. That's just their program, that's who they are, but they are also um, working with certain artificial machinery that can be used, uh, frequency fences, seals, tags, implants, um, energy portals to siphon off your very, very tasty energy. Hello, lovely people. I can't see who's joining. Let me see if I can get on my page here and see the comments a little bit better. And so this is informational. Hopefully it's you know meant to be informative for you and very interesting. And you can take away something from this today of, of real value where you can maybe employ some of the tips and the tricks that I'm sharing here to maybe expand and stretch your consciousness a little bit to feel okay with asking your spirit time to help, your spirit team to help you navigate during dream time to glean more information from different space-time realms, different dimensions, different realities, because there's so much information available to us on this very accelerated ascension path that we're on. You're never gonna run out of new information. You're never gonna run out of ways to stretch your consciousness. You're never gonna run out of ways to kind of push you past your comfort zone in terms of what you know or what you think you know. Even if what you think you know right now is a lot, um, I think what I know right now is a lot, but I'm constantly surprised and uh, delighted by some of the things that I'm finding when I do informational journeys during dream, during dream time. So I wanna talk about that a little bit here today, what that means, what that entails to ask your spirit team to help you visit dimensions or different realms during dream time how to protect your energy. So I'm gonna give you some ways to do that. I'm all about protecting your energy. It's all about integrity as we do this work, people. And it is really, especially now with a lot of fear programs running and your energy being very, very tasty to beings of lesser integrity as we ascend, you wanna protect your energy. You wanna create very strong boundaries, yet flexible boundaries for yourself as you astral travel, remote view, travel to distant realms and realities to glean information. And what questions maybe do you have about doing this kind of work? You can put that in the comments as I go through. Um, I'll leave the answering of your questions until the very end because as I talk, I may answer some of your questions. So I'll read through the questions at the very end, but feel free to put them in here now if you're here live. And I wanna welcome all of you here live um, if you're new to me, if you don't know who I am, I am a 5D visionary. I'm an elevated consciousness coach. I teach a lot of group programs. I have this little thing called a VIP member vault where I have um, 
my paid programs, free programs, free workshops, free talks, podcast episodes, energe energetic healings. That is a link that I should probably put in here so that you guys can check it out. And it's a great marketplace, but it's also a free hub of all of my resources. And you can binge on some of my content in there for free if that tickles your fancy. I have an upcoming masterclass called Timelines Expanded Masterclass, which is a powerhouse of information. It is a one-of-a-kind program talking about all things time and timelines, merging time, quantum jumping time, collapsing time, opting out of false time and the machinery that generates false time in the false ascension matrix. Um, talking about even more modules this time around as I teach it. I've taught the course twice already. The third time I teach it is April 16th. There's going to be 11 modules this time. Lots and lots of information and really like nothing else out there. If you are interested in knowing how to heal timelines, including ancestral timeline healing, healing your money story that's held in your ancestry, that's being held hostage by the DNA of your legacy, um, we are doing that in this live round too. I'm teaching you how to, if you take on clients of your own, how to merge the work of timeline healing and time bending into the client work that you do. That's in module in this program as well. It's really, really packed with tons of information, lots of support, lots of guidance that you're just not going to find anywhere else. I'm going to put that link down here in the comments as well. So I want to share some of this information right now because I know a lot of you out there, um, certainly a lot of people in my community here on Facebook, people that I interact with regularly. So many people are really, really on this precipice of, you know, really being thirsty for more, really wanting ways to stretch their consciousness. Their current level of spiritual awakening is, it just feels like there's something else there. There's something bigger to explore. And although at first blush, it may seem a little scary to, you know, let yourself go during dream time and just say, hey, I want to explore the ninth dimension during dream time. And here I go. Well, it shouldn't be scary. And I want to give you some, some tips and tricks to protect yourself to teach you why it might, or to tell you why it might be a little scary, but how to protect yourself to make sure that you are in the highest integrity as you do this kind of work, as you do this kind of exploring, and to have the protection and the support and the guidance of your spirit team as you do this. It's, it's very possible to be completely protected as you do this work. So I wanna share some real things with you here today to help you do that. So. How many of you that are here right now, and, I, and the number of people attending is fluctuating, so I have no idea how many people are watching right now, but how many of you that are here live, or if you're watching the replay, and put in hashtag replay if you are watching the replay, do ask your spirit time, team to help you explore during dream time. Who here puts yourself, hopefully, in some sort of protective space and if you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I'm going to tell you uh, something real quick and simple that you can do to help you do that. But to visit different realms, different realities. Maybe you want to visit the, the star people, the star beings that you think are part of your lineage. Maybe you associate with having a Syrian heritage, an Arcturian heritage, a Pleiadian heritage, a Lemurian heritage, an Atlantean heritage. Um, Maybe you want to connect with those people where you feel like, oh, that's home for me. I want to go and visit the people that I haven't seen in a long time or spent time with in a very, very long time. Because some of us who have incarnated here, especially those of us who really resonate with coming here as a volunteer, as the wave of volunteers that's here to assist in the ascension process, many of us were either selected or we chose to come here you know, leave our friends, leave our family in another star system and come here. And we haven't seen our friends and family in a really, really long time. And it's nice to go back and visit because many of us who are here on this particular ascension cycle are probably going to be around for a few more lifetimes here incarnate in 3D space time because we're here to help. We have knowledge, we have wisdom to impart that is here specifically to help humanity ascend. 
I happen to be one of those people who I associate and I resonate very strongly with this, this idea of being selected and or chosen to come here because I've had certain life paths before that were not always on this planet where I have information that I can come and impart here to help people ascend. And that's what I do in this lifetime, by the way, if you're not familiar with me or any of the things that I offer, I'm very much invested in energetically, uh, spiritually, physically, financially, in helping people on this planet ascend and to move into a higher level of spiritual consciousness into a place where people feel that they are much more powerful than they ever thought they were. We are, we are incredibly badass, powerful human beings and our divine human bl blueprint is being, you know, with, with the flooding of all this fear energy, imagine the fear energy like water. And what it's doing is it's making us rise up above it, like cream on top of milk. <laughs> we are the cream. This, this particular lifetime that you are in, you are here for a reason, many of you, you are cream rising to the top. And these fear programs, as tricky as they might be, as chaotic and full of mayhem as they might be, they are allowing us to rise above it. It's not instantaneous, it's not an overnight process, but it is happening, it is happening. It's gonna be much more apparent to see as we go further on this ascension path. So that might be one reason why you want to travel this way, to go visit your star being friends that you miss, okay? So maybe you, have that reason for wanting to do it. Maybe you are working on something and you're doing the work of meditation in your life. Maybe you're working with a coach or a mentor, an energy healer that's helping you through some, some crisis, some trauma, and it's just not clicking. It's just not moving into space, be, into the space it needs to for healing to take hold. A lot of times we are, you know, coming at this healing process from an extremely tilted perspective of the ego self. And we want healing, we want it now. Like, right, move along. This, this is a short life that I got here. I gotta move this thing along. And so we're coming at it from a place of the ego self. This is not your higher self vantage point where you can really see and be privy to the healing momentum as it takes place. When you're in the ego self perspective, you're just not privy to that. You're not seeing it and you want results right now. Well, it doesn't really work that way. And so when we are in dream time, the reins of the ego self kind of fall away. The tethers of the survival mode, the fight or flight, that constant crisis mode that we're in in our daily lives where we're feeling like the crunch and the push of 3D reality upon us all the time, that's, that falls away during dream time. So this is another reason why it may be very beneficial to you to do this kind of work during dream time. Um, maybe you are looking for some answers about the next progression on your path of spiritual awakening. Maybe you're looking to you know, glean some information, some wisdom that is already in your DNA. It's already part of your blueprint. It's already part of your spirit path. But again, you can't access it in the ever pervasive ego mind that you find yourself in as your default for most of your waking day. This is a great time to do that kind of thing. So I do all the above, <laughs> and there are more reasons why you want to glean information during dream time. But who here is like all three? <laughs> all three. Um, let me see. Tammy says, I actually hadn't thought of doing this. I want to now. Yes, it's it's wonderful. And And Tammy, this is Tammy, my friend here, does a lot of amazing astrology work. She does human design work. So this would be highly beneficial for you, Tammy. The key is you want to make sure that you are protected. You want to make sure that you are in a vessel of support, of guidance, led by, supported by, overseen by your spirit team. Okay? That is so important. So when we are journeying like this and we do kind of have our, our boundaries, let's just say loosened up a little bit during dream time and we are exploring, we're always exploring during dream time. Whether we are consciously creating that intention before we go to sleep or not is incidental, okay? That doesn't matter. 
We're always exploring during dream time. You know, our, our brains are unwinding the programs of the day, the programs of our lives. Um, dis, you know, it's disseminating information to different uh, systems of the body. Uh, your body is healing. There's a lot going on when you sleep. But you have a lot more ability than you think you do, capability, to direct your intentions of what you wish to do when you are in dream time right before you go to sleep. Okay, and I do this every single night. So I have a lot of, let's just say, places of mm, protection. I have a pyramid of light protection. I have my 12D Merkaba, um, which you can check out if you go to my YouTube page. I walk you through a process called Streaming the Eternal Now. And I'm going to put the link in here for you. If you're not one who's ever checked out my YouTube page, there's hundreds of videos on there, energy healing, all talks about spirituality, ascension, etc. So I'm going to give you the link for streaming the eternal now. And don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to my YouTube channel. This walks you through a really amazing uh, vessel of protection called your 12D Merkaba, okay? This is something that I share in my Timelines Expanded class. Before we even start the class of Timelines Expanded, I run a few different protective, grounding, supportive uh, energy guided meditations to help you be in that, you know, that foundation, that base of support where you feel safe, you feel protected to do the deeper work that's really stretching your consciousness, okay? Patrice says, I've been traveling this way for years as well in my work. It's extremely empowering, isn't it? Extremely empowering. And you're just privy to certain levels of information this way that don't necessarily come in as coherently as, as in your waking time. There's just something that's more clear, especially if you create the intention before you do this kind of traveling that you ask to remember in waking time the elements of the dream, especially the highest and best benefits of that dream, okay? When you set that intention for whatever, whatever kind of exploring you wanna do, that you ask your spirit team to help you remember on a cellular level, the highest and best benefits of the dream upon waking. And it's always good to have a dream journal too. That's another great tip. So having, you know, your favorite drugstore 99 cent notebook, your favorite pen, next to your bed. And if you're like me, you need your glasses too, because I write chicken scratch and I can't read it. I can't even write it without my glasses on. So that when you wake up in the morning, first thing before you do anything else, you write down the highlights of that dream. You don't have to write down full sentences, but you write down the highlights because what happens on a subconscious level is when you read those words, it triggers the fuller memory, the fuller expression of the dream and what transpired in the dream or what transpired. It's not always a dream. I want to say that and be very clear about that. What you're extracting sometimes from your exploration is not always a dream. It's an interaction, okay, with real life benefits for you now. So we think of it as a dream and sure it's dream time, but you can have lucid dreams. And when we explore that in Timelines Expanded, we talk a little bit more about lucid dreams and how to remote view certain, let's just say, probable futures and past timelines to glean information as well. You can, you can view when you are remote viewing and lucid dreaming during dream time, you can actually direct your energy towards a specific timeline and glean information from that. It could be from your childhood. It could be from another parallel reality. It could be from the true accurate historical timeline of humanity because all the information that we get about our history of being human is not accurate, okay? So when you go into Timelines Expanded Masterclass, you learn how to do that a little bit more. So setting up your space with some foundation of protection, some foundation of support, that link that I shared streaming the eternal now is one way that will help you access your 12D Merkaba or as I call it the eternal now starship. It is a 12 pointed star that you generate from the heart space and I walk you through that in that video streaming the eternal now 
and you send out 12 points of light, it creates a 12D, a 12 dimensional translation of time basically, but it is a star starship. And you're traveling vertically, not linearly, not on a horizontal axis, you're traveling vertically because when you travel vertically through time, you are accessing the eternal now. So that's a really cool thing to check out. And you are untethered by the continuum of 3D time space, meaning you are exploring 12 different translations of time. And time has different meanings, different rules of engagement in different dimensional uh, uh, ways of you relating to it, let's just say. So you can glean deeper information, but you wanna make sure you're protected because just like in astral travel, for any of you who have studied or are doing astral travel, you wanna make sure that you are in a bubble of protection because you are kind of like this very tasty treat <laughs> to the beings or the entities of lesser integrity out there floating around, maybe with not the best boundary protection. And so you can have invasive energies that are distorting your energy, distorting your frequency, siphoning off your tasty, delicious vibration for another being's benefit. You don't want this because then you can have entities attached to you. You can have energies that will affect you and make you go into some sort of crisis, physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. You don't want that ever. So you need to always be working with a foundation of support, some level of protection. The other thing is a pyramid of light. So let's do this real quick. I wanna walk you through this. I wanna give you really simple stuff here, people. So just go ahead and close your eyes real quick and connect with your body, connect where you are in space with where you are, where your body is in space and time. Meaning, close your eyes, listen to the sound of my voice. Hear how the sound of my voice is affecting your body. Where is it hitting you in your body? The information that's coming in from the sound of my voice, from my higher self to your higher self, where are you getting that intuitive resonance in the body? Connect with that space. It could be your heart, it could be your belly, it could be your big toe, doesn't matter. And just allow your energy to kind of anchor in that spot. Allow your energy to expand out from that spot. Let it inform all the cells of your body, all the systems, all the tissues, the fascia of your body, all the connective tissue that's holding your body together, intentional integrity. Let it all come up and expand and magnify. Feel your body come alive. Feel your body come online to a higher frequency. And now take your energy up and out of your crown and I want you to imagine a beautiful white light about 30 feet above the head. And now imagine an eye, an all-seeing eye. Imagine this as the eye of pure source consciousness and it is bright white, but it is an eye with bright violet flecks inside the eye. And this bright violet light is coming down in a cascade, shooting out in four points of direction, forming a foundational base of a pyramid just below your feet, about 12 inches below your feet, where your earth star chakra would be. And imagine how this energy, this violet, all-seeing, pure source consciousness eye is cascading this energy down and now forming in light layers what would be a pyramid shape. And I want you to imagine points of light coming in at the crown just above the head, a point of light coming in just between the eyes and the brow, a point of light just coming in at the throat, a point of light coming in in the heart center, a point of bright white light coming in in the solar plexus, right below the rib cage, a point of white light coming in just above the belly button, a point of white light coming in at the base of the spine, and a point of white light coming into the earth star chakra about 12 inches beneath the soles of your feet. And I want you to imagine, I forgot to add, a point of light that is your soul star chakra, about 16 inches above the top of your head. I want you to imagine bright points of light in each hand, right in the palm, and a bright point of light 
in the soles, the soft parts of the feet, not in the heels, but in the soft parts right in the middle of the feet, in between the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot. Feel how your body feels lit up. Feel how all of these light points are communicating with each other and maybe creating a grid inside the pyramid of light. This is a very, very powerful space of high, high, high level protection for you to hold for yourself. And now call in your spirit team. Ask them to help you be guided in this vessel. This can be your pyramid starship. So as you're traveling, you set up this space. Before you go to bed, set the intention to call in all of your spirit team, all benevolent energies that are part of your spirit team who are called in to assist you in gleaning whatever it is you're asking to find as you explore during dream time, okay? It could be anything. But maybe you have certain spirit guides who are, you know, better assigned to this task than others. Call them in. Or just call in whoever is highest assigned to this task, okay? And let this be your starship that you travel in. You are very protected in this space. You're grounded into the earth at the same time. You're grounded into the very powerful earth energy of Gaia, okay? And you are highly protected by your spirit team. Those of you who like to work with, um, so that's another way, that's a pyramid of light. Those of you who like to work with dragons, okay? Um, I like to run a lot of Arcturian energies a lot of time, and I think of Arcturians, I think of dragons. But I also have a lot of ancient earth energy in me that I connect with, and dragon energy is just it for me. Ancient serpent energy is a very, very strong resonance for me, and so dragons. And so they have, I have two of them, they have names. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what their names are, um, because that's how I keep my power and my boundary protection for me. But I call them in too. I mean, I call in everybody before I do any kind of exploration because I wanna explore freely. I wanna be able to glean all kinds of information, go to all different kinds of realms. Um, and I'm gonna give you an example in a second of what happened for me last night. And so I want the highest level of protection possible. If you have a grid that you'd like to plug into, if you have a, um, a ball of protection, you have a spirit team that is like, these are your people. They are going to protect you. They always have. They always will. Call them in. Call in as much protection. You can't OD on the amount of protection and um, uh, you know the boundaries that you can have for yourself as you do this kind of traveling. Okay. So what kind of information do you want to seek out? There really is no limit to what you can ask for. Um, if you are having trouble with some very real life stuff, you know, maybe you're not making enough money. Maybe you have been searching for your soulmate. And maybe there is, when you think about it in your waking daily life, you feel this kind of desperation about those things. You feel this kind of, oh, woe is me. I'm never gonna find this. And you go into that ego survival mode thinking, which is not part of your human divine blueprint. It's actually a reptilian coding. <laughs> Um, and it is a is part of the artificial machinery of the false ascension matrix. It is not part of our divine human blueprint to be in survival mode, fight or flight, that cortisol response that takes place in the body. All of that is artificial. We've just been running this program for so long that we don't know any different. And this is what we talk about in level two of Timelines Expanded, by the way. It's the very first class. And we clear that because it's just coding, it's just a broadcast that's not real, but it is broadcast from different points in the body that have been, let's just say, hijacked by beings of lesser integrity. And I will say this, the more you do this kind of traveling and exploring during dream time and you're anchoring into this space of protection, this foundation base of support that you're working with, the more you are lessening that broadcast from the false ascension matrix telling you to be in survival mode, fight or flight, whatever that is. Um, the lack mentality, the scarcity mentality, the never enough mentality, right? So what do you have questions about in terms of like what you can explore during dream time? And while you're putting your questions in or maybe experiences that you've had with this or, you know, Catherine, can I look at this during dream time? Is it too much to look at that during dream time? Whatever questions you have, go ahead and put them here in the comments. And I'm going to tell you what happened to me last night. So every night 
every night before I go to sleep, I have a ritual of, I call in, I'll just tell you exactly what I do. And then maybe some of you guys might be resonating with it and you can use it, feel free. So I take a couple deep breaths and this is like, I lay my head on the pillow, I'm ready to go to sleep. I call in higher self, higher self, higher self. And I feel this shift. I feel like a point of energy within me get bigger and go outside of me so that there's literally a light being version of me right next to me. And then I take that light being version of me and I cover myself with it. So it's like my higher self is leading the charge. My higher self is the one that is first and foremost leading my energy forward into whatever I endeavor to do during dream time. And when I feel that shift in the energy, that shift in my awareness, I call in all parts and pieces of me that have been sent away. Maybe I've sent away parts of myself out of shame, out of guilt, out of blame, out of resentment. I call all parts and pieces, all fragments, fractured parts of self, disconnected, disassociated, disowned, disavowed parts of self back in to wholeness with full acceptance, full love, full forgiveness. I feel that shift. And then I bring in pure white light from source consciousness from above. It changes. Sometimes I'll see it 300 feet above my head. Sometimes I'll see it 20 feet above my head. I just allow what that is and how that feels to come through. And I imagine a pillar of light washing and clean through. So as I bring all these parts of myself back into wholeness, I wash myself clean through with this light, bring it down through the body into the core of the earth. And then I'll oscillate the energy in a figure eight back and forth through the pillar of light, the origin point of the pillar of light, all the way down to the core of the earth, oscillating it until I feel like washed clean through and my energy feels neutralized. Right there, if you do nothing else, you're purifying your energy from your waking day, which is just powerful on its own. So if you tend to be that person who ruminates and thinks the same things on a you know repeat cycle over and over again, that argument that you had with your sister, <laughs> that altercation that you had with your husband, you know that fight with your boss, and I coulda, shoulda, shoulda said that, or I coulda, shoulda, woulda done that, whatever, and you kind of go over that on this endless carousel of repetitive thought that, you know, maybe you had a million great things happen in your day, but you had that one bad thing, that's the thing you focus on before you go to bed. So if you stop that practice right there, you'll notice a neutralizing inner energy, which is just really powerful. And so when you feel that shift in your awareness, you're ready to take this further, you're ready to create an intention for what you want to do to explore during dream time. What is it? What do you want to know? Maybe you are like Tammy and you have clients and you have human design clients and you want to bring in a new facet to some program or offering, some service that you have right now and you're like, yeah, there could be more there and I know there's more there and I'm getting this kind of niggling intuitive hit that there is more there, but I haven't fleshed it out yet. This is a great thing to explore. This is a great time to connect with your spirit team and have them take you or guide you to a place where that information is. Because any time you have a question about anything, the, dual the nature of the duality of the universe is this. You have a question about something, that means, that implies directly that there is an answer. That's the nature of duality in a nutshell. That's a pretty um, <laughs> quick and dirty explanation of it. But that's it. If you have a question about anything, if there is a problem, if there is a challenge, if there is an issue, there is always a solution. Always, 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 always. The problem is that we are programmed to think that, you know, there never is or it's never going to work out. It may not be the solution that you had thought of, but there is a solution to everything. Okay. So if you have a question, you have a query, you have an intention, you have a desire, you have um, a challenge, an issue. There is always something to counterbalance that energy. Do you guys understand that? So this should alleviate some fear and worry in you right away. You know, it may not be an answer that resonates with something that's already known in your past, something that your ego self knows, but your higher self knows the answer. 
And so when you're in this vantage point, you're journeying from that level of perspective. The answers are always there. It's just a matter of where you're gonna find it, which is a fun journey. And the idea here that I would like to instill in you guys is that the journey is fun. I will say this, <laughs> sometimes when you're doing this kind of work, like I was last night, it felt like work, you know, and, and then we lost an hour because it's daylight savings, because we had to turn the clocks ahead. So I feel not entirely rested, but the information that came in was so worth it because it's been something that I, you know, I'm always creating content for my courses. I'm always adding new stuff to the things that I teach. I'm always doing lives like this. And it's always because I do this kind of journeying. I do this kind of traveling during dream time to glean information and glean wisdom so I can bring it back, disseminate it, break it down into digestible chunks so that I can share it with my community. So I digress. Let's go back. So here I am creating my intention, lying on my pillow. I'm in my protective space. I create my intention whatever it is that I wanted to know. And I wanted to know last night, I wanted some more information about some of my star being lineage. And I don't get too hung up on, oh, I'm Arcturian, or I have a legacy of being Lemurian. I happen to feel like I'm a, a mutt, <laughs> a spiritual mutt of a lot of different lineages because I'm aware of being Earthside many, many lifetimes and also being in a different planetary system, different star system, many, many lifetimes. I've been around a while, let's put it that way. So I just wanted to connect with my people from home, a home that I had come from wherever. Maybe I am there. If you ask me, I am there um, in, a, in a symmetrical, a parallel reality. And I wanted to go visit my people there and reconnect because I just felt like all week long, there's information for me there, but I kind of need to go where they are. I kind of need to be in a place where we can communicate telepathically and I'm not in my ego self while I do it. So I was like, ah, oh, I'll do it during dream time. So that was my intention last night to go visit star beings who were from my quote unquote home and find out, you know, I feel like you guys have been wanting to talk to me. What did you want to tell me about? Okay. And it happens to do with, you know, some things I'm teaching right now in level two, which is this week of Timelines Expanded. And as I'm putting the material together for the next live round of Timelines Expanded in April. And it was so worth it, even though I feel like I didn't sleep, I'm not really that rested, but I got the information that I was looking for and then some. And I had an incredible feeling of peace and serenity and feeling like, I got to go home and visit with some people that I didn't, I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't connected with in a long time. I feel, I don't know how you guys feel. Sometimes doing the work that I do, I don't do small talk with people very well. <laughs> so, you know, talking about this stuff is my go-to. That's where I'm comfortable. Luckily I have a beautiful community on Facebook. I get to do that. But in, in everyday life, you know, I'm not going to start this conversation with someone in a grocery store and, you know, I get, I feel lonely. I'll just say it, you know, a lot of times I feel lonely and I really needed like a bigger base of support and connection to help push me into the, the next stage of my spiritual awakening and stretching my consciousness so I can bring in the next level of what I'm offering to my clients. It requires me to stretch my consciousness. And whenever you stretch your consciousness, you want to feel safe. You want to feel supported. You want to feel connected to something bigger than you. And that's exactly what my intention was last night when I created this space. So here I am. My energy is neutral. I've walked you through that part where you run and circulate the white light. And then what I do is I take a deep breath in and I pull energy from the top of this pillar of light and the core of the earth simultaneously and I pull it into the heart. And as I expand that energy out, I go into my 12D Merkaba. So I imagine 12 points of light shooting out, creating 12 star points and it forms an eternal now starship around me. This is where I travel from. So I'm in my little starship, completely protected, and you can put stuff in there if you want, you know, put your favorite, I don't know, 
um, you know, friend, <laughs> put your best friend in there, you know, put, um, put your, your favorite spirit team in there with you. If you want, make it homey, make it nice. Give it a color. Mine is bright blue, like a really bright turquoisey, almost royal blue. And so when I take another deep breath in, and I pull that energy into the center of my 12D Merkaba, my eternal now starship. And then I send that out past the 12 points of light. And I imagine myself in the galactic time grid. Now, the galactic time grid, when I create this, when I connect with this space, this galactic time grid holds all the organic ascension timelines. It is devoid of anything in the false ascension matrix. So the kind of information that I'm gleaning there is accurate historically. The kind of information that I'm gleaning there is aligned with my higher self. It is aligned with my highest and best good. It is aligned with the highest and best good of all. And it is aligned with the, um, the least amount of resistance for all involved. This is powerful, okay? Because when you create this galactic time grid for yourself, which holds all the true organic ascension matrix timelines. There's no false timelines. There's no false or artificial machinery. Okay. You're traveling in a place where you are highly protected because you've got your 12D Merkaba or your pyramid of light or whatever vehicle you use to travel with. You've got your spirit team. You got your dragons, right? This is powerful because the information that you glean when you are traveling within that matrix, that galactic time grid, will be accurate and align with your highest and best timeline for spiritual growth. Do you guys get that? Please give me a heart. Hi, Suzanne. Give me a heart, give me an emoji, give me a comment. Um, that's beautiful, I'm happy you connected to your home, folks. Yes, it was wonderful. I cried, I cried. I woke up at like 4.30 in the morning and I was really overcome with joy and I felt it. And I know you get this Patrice, because when you do the work that you do, you feel it really deep on a cellular level. So I know that you get this. So that's how I felt too. And I just felt like enriched. I felt enlivened. I felt like it gave me the cosmic boost to go further. Cause sometimes I feel like I'm bringing some of this information through and I'm like, people are gonna wrap me up in a tight jacket and drive me really far away. <laughs> And I doubt myself, it's natural for those of us who are, you know, bringing in stuff that not everybody is talking about or not everybody is doing, you know, we doubt ourselves, right? Because we're in that ego self perspective. I'm gonna get cast out of my tribe, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna make any money sharing this stuff. You know, people are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm not gonna have any friends. I'm not gonna be able to connect with anybody. And, you know, you go into those doubts and those fears. But honestly, if you connect with being and you resonate with being someone who is here to really help shake up and wake up humanity, we can't be bogged down by that shit. We can't be bogged down by those doubts and those fears and the second guessing. So if you are someone like me who kind of resonates with that and, and maybe you don't trust the stuff that the information that's coming into you during waking time, you know, you go into that ego self, ego self-destructive mode and you start sabotaging what you're doing and you start overthinking what you're doing and like, this is crazy, no one's gonna believe this, this doesn't make sense. And we're trying to intellectualize and rationalize everything, then we're just gonna poo-poo everything that we're doing. However, when you're doing this kind of stuff, gleaning these higher levels of information, stretching your consciousness in this kind of space, you are stretching your consciousness in a place where it is allowed to go way, way further out and really stretch your consciousness past the confines of the 3D time-space matrix, which is confined by rather rigid views of reality and what is real and what is possible. You see the difference? So you see how valuable this can be? Does that make sense to you guys? Does anyone have any questions for me? So I don't wanna to go too much further. I don't even know how long I've been talking here. But does anyone have any questions? And if you have water, I would definitely drink some. <laughs> this is already taking you 
uh, probably a little further in your consciousness than maybe you thought this call was going to. But I truly hope that this resonates with some of you. And if you're watching the replay, put in hashtag replay. And if you want to review this, if you're tuning in later in this call, um, I walk you through some, some ways to create a foundation of support as you do this kind of traveling. Um, I talk about why that is so important. And there's a couple links here to check out Streaming the Eternal, or a link to check out Streaming the Eternal now, which will give you a vessel to work within in order to do this kind of traveling. And it is, I can just tell you, so, so powerful, especially for those of you who are really working on something big. Like you really feel like you're working on something and it's like maybe you're second guessing it or maybe you feel like no one else has done this before. This is crazy. I don't even know how this could work. Then this is an excellent tool for you. This is an excellent way for you to explore like what could be possible. Because traveling out of the very rigid confines of our everyday reality, you completely crack your egg of perception. You completely move to a different and higher vantage point of perspective where what is possible there is much grander, much more expanded than what is possible within our 3D time-space matrix. That is exactly why I teach Timelines Expanded, by the way. Um, I need a way to keep that 5D window open constantly. Well, here's why that's not entirely possible. Because we are vacillating between different dimensional um, levels of awareness all the time. Because that's just where we are on our ascension path now. And we need to be a little bit careful about this level of rigidity of wanting to stay in this one level of consciousness all the time. Because your higher self is always initiating opportunities for you to go to the seventh dimension, to go to even the eighth or ninth dimension. So we want to stay open to that. And being in our bodies, being in 3D is oftentimes very, very important. If you are asking for ways to receive more financial security, you're going to want to be able to vacillate easily, easily back to that 3D time-space reality. Okay, because if you're not grounded, you can't receive the money. It's not your 7D avatar of yourself that needs the money for rent. <laughs> okay, it's your 3D version of self. Does that make sense? So we just want to keep, keep that corridor fluid. The corridor of being able to travel between, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, even up to, you know, 24th dimensional realities if you wanted to. It's about fluidity now. It's not about rigidity anymore. It's about fluidity. So asking to keep the fluidity open, Genesis, is a much uh, more expanded way of, maybe, and maybe you can feel into that and, and see that for yourself, that I want to keep the, the fluidity of the corridors of consciousness open at all times. Doesn't that feel better? Doesn't that feel more expanded? Doesn't that feel more evolved? Okay. So I hope that helps. Um, I don't see any other questions. So feel free to share this video, share it with your community because I think a lot of people are hungry for this kind of knowledge right now to know that there are other ways to explore gleaning information and how to do it safely and protected. Having your boundary protection in place is so important. Um, to the level that we are asking for greater levels of light, there's always a counterbalance of, of some darkness. This is not meant to put you in fear. It's meant to keep you aware. Do you see the difference? It's meant to be informative. It's not to stoke fear. That's not what I'm here to do, by the way. I'm here to help people wake up their consciousness to what's what, where it's really at, what's really going on, and to just be smart. Just use common sense and protect yourself. You can always do that. Help and support and protection is always there. But through our own free will, this is our 3D avatar of self in a physical body, we must ask with our own free will for that protection. Don't just expect your spirit team to show up. It doesn't work that way. We must ask. We must create the intention and we must be dedicated to our own protection and to creating our own foundation of support. So I hope this has helped you. I hope this has been informative. I want to thank you guys for joining me live. 
Um, it's so nice to have friends to talk to <laughs> when I share this stuff instead of having it all just live inside my head. So love and peace to you guys. Bye-bye.